Happy Wellness Wednesday. Thank you so much for joining me. We are looking at part three of the Calm the Mind series that I've been doing. So in week one, we looked at some energy medicine holds um, and taps and massages that are really helpful to calm the mind. So that's in week one. In week two, we talked about what does our morning look like? How do we step into our day? And so interesting, I was just chatting with the group um, for their monthly live. And um, you know that's what we were talking about. At a time coming into the holidays when everything is getting busy, what does the morning look like? How are you stepping into your day? And are you connecting with yourself? Do you know where you're at, okay, when you step into the day? That makes navigating the day a lot easier. It helps you to change your vibration. And so go to part two to, talk, um, to look at that and all the considerations for your morning, how you step into your day. Today in part three, I want to talk about how you finish your day. So as we come into the holidays, as we've talked about, there's a lot of hype. There's a lot of heightened energy all around. There's a little, you know, feeling more pressured. Lots going on. I mean, even getting together with family, friends, all this kind of stuff. And our nervous system can get quite ramped up. And so what does the end of the day look like for you? So today I wanted to share one of my favorite poses that I love to do at night, okay, Baddha Konasana. And I wanted to show you how to find that, um, to set that up and just to see what feels good for you. If we can spend time at the end of the day in a relaxing pose, connected to our breath, allowing ourselves to be in the present moment and letting go of the day or the week or whatever we need to, this can be very calming for the mind, but it also engages our parasympathetic nervous system so that digest relax. And often at this time of year, we don't have a lot of that going on. It's a lot of hype ramped up and the gas pedals to the floor. But when we engage the parasympathetic nervous system, we learn how to put the brakes on a little bit, okay? And ease the gas pedal up. So important. Also helps us for a great night's sleep because of course we know, right, that one hour before bed, we really don't need our screens, interferes with our melatonin, release, okay, affects our sleep, all right? So this is a great way to just spend a few minutes at the end of your day connecting with yourself, okay? Relaxing, letting your breath flow, helping your digestion, right? So some of you have a bolster, and so you can use a bolster, right? Some of you don't have a bolster, and so you can roll up a blanket just so that it looks like a bolster. And then I have some clients who actually will, um, you know, tie it to make their bolster. Right? Work with what you have. Now's not the time to be going out and buying something new. Maybe if this feels good for you, a bolster is something you put on your Christmas list. They are expensive, but you don't need many. One will do you for years and years, okay? So it could look like this with your blanket, could be your bolster. I'm gonna take your yoga block or your cushion and put it at the bottom, okay? So it looks like this. Your butt's gonna go here and then your spine goes along your bolster or your blanket. And another option could also be a body pillow. That also works well, okay? So really try to work with what you have right now. We all have blankets. 
Okay. So it's coming down onto your blanket or your bolster. And you want to feel your head supported, not hanging off. You can bring the soles of your feet together and let your knees open up here. You can bring your arms out to the side. I like them below the shoulders a little bit. Or you can have your knees bent. Sometimes knees bent, um, feet out mat width apart and knees dropping in together might feel really good for you as well. Okay, so there's, you know, options. There's always options. So you choose what feels good for you. And you could even put pillows or cushions underneath the knees to better support your bones and allow that release in through the inner thigh groin. Now just connect into your breath. Inhale to the count of four. Exhale to the count of four. Keep going with that count. And for some of you, do this regularly. Inhale four, exhale six. But when we are counting the breath, we are giving the brain something to do. And when we first lie down after a really busy day, it's hard to shut our brain off. So giving our brain a task, counting our breath, feels really great. Keeps it busy, allows us to soften and relax. And as the four and four feels a little more ease for you, you can go inhale four, exhale six. Lower back starts to hurt. Bring the feet up, knees come in. Follow your breath, count your breath. That's the gateway into the present moment. Just allow yourself some much needed relaxation. Play some nice calming music. Use your diffuser or candles. I suggest setting a timer on your phone for five minutes to start. It's a great place to start. And if you do this a lot, maybe you're setting it for 10 minutes. And then once you're done, you'll roll off your propping, whatever that is, and just lie down either on your side or flat on your back. and just continue with your breath for a few more moments. If you've started to yawn, that's great, okay? You're on the right track there. So really a nice pose to do in the evening and very calming. So again, how are we stepping into our day? So important. And how are we finishing our day? Are we taking that time to make ourselves a priority, to connect with ourselves, to calm our nervous system? So, so important that we calm our nervous system. We can't have the gas pedal to the floor all the time. We might think we can but eventually that's gonna catch up with us, okay? And disease, heart, stroke, can't stay in high levels of stress. We're just not meant to. 
So really connecting and getting to know that relaxation. It takes time, but you're worth it, right? And wouldn't it be nice to just come into the holidays finding the joy and the pleasure that the holidays can hold? by just giving yourself some time to relax, restore, rejuvenate. It's a game changer. So I invite you to try it. Drop it in the comments below. Let me know how you felt after. And remember, consistency is the key, right? Showing up time and time and time again. That sets you up for success. Happy Wednesday. As you can see, the sun is coming through here and we have a beautiful sunny day, a little chilly, but beautiful sunny day. Makes us feel great. All right. Take care of you. And I will see you next Wednesday for part four on the Mind series. Have a great day.